Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to be taking this four foot vivarium and turning it into a lovely new enclosure for Toto, our royal python. So first step is just kind of hook all the electrics up, all your wiring for your lights and your heat source and your thermometer and thermostat and all those things. That's the first step. Second thing I had to do was because this was a bearded dragon enclosure before, it had this circular vent area for the heat lamp um, and a royal python could easily just push that up. So I had to secure it with some clips. Um, there is no venting in the back of this enclosure, so I'm going to be using that as a vent. If there's too much airflow going in, then I will cover it with an acrylic sheet with some air holes in. Oh, and this is just a stick. <laughs> log, I don't know what to call it, for climbing purposes. I'm going to be doing the background first and I'm going to be using these cork bark pieces. They were tubes, I just cut them in half. And um, they're going to go all along the back and they're going to be secured in with expanding foam. Um, expanding foam is great for, for these naturalistic backgrounds. Um, and it does do what it says on the tin, it expands, so you don't have to use too much. I didn't even use an entire tin for this. So yeah, let's get cracking. So once you have it all applied it should look like this and you want to leave it at least 24 hours for it to expand and to completely dry out and then it will have this shiny appearance to it. Um, this is it after 24 hours and the next step is to cut away all of this shiny pieces. The silicone sticks better to the foam that's underneath these shiny pieces so you just want to cut away all the outside bits with a blade. It's pretty time consuming I would say, especially when it's something this big, like four feet. So um, it did take a while. And for the side pieces, I'm going to be using these styrofoam boards. I've done these before for the leopard gecko tank, if you want to go have that check out, but it's the same thing. You just kind of cut it, you know, whatever way you want the design to look. And then after you do that, you want to cover the entire surface area, the green expanding foam and the styrofoam with silicone. Black silicone is best, I would use. Then you just put on these pieces of cork bark and some cocoa fiber. And once you have it all put on the background, you want to compress it so that it sticks properly to the background. And again, you're going to leave this dry for about 24 hours. And after 24 hours, just shake everything off, the excess, and your background should look like this. Or side pieces, because this is the styrofoam part. But I've done the background in the exact same way. And you attach that to the side using silicone. Just place silicone along the back of this styrofoam piece and stick it into the side of the vivarium. And this is what it should look like once everything is applied. And don't worry about the end pieces there and all the lines that you can see. Don't worry, we're going to be covering all of them up in time. But this is just the basic background, what it will look like once it's finished. And then we can just get decorating with whatever way we want. We have a box of tricks. <laughs> fake plants and moss and everything that you could wish for. However, I'm hoping that in time we might go bioactive with this tank. The only reason I'm not going bioactive now is because I just want to see how much damage Toto does to it before I start putting in real plants and a drainage layer and all of that. So I've just basically put the fake plants 
into the background they because it's foam styrofoam or expanding foam they can just stick right in no problem and um yeah i'm going to be adding more bits and pieces throughout you can just play with it and see what works for you i've dressed up that stick thing <laughs> i still don't know what to call it a stick a log branch i don't know um, so yeah, that's kind of what the basic background will look like now. Then you want to figure out where you're going to place the hides. Now, on the right is going to be his cool hide. The left is going to be the warm hide and basking area. A water dish is a must. And some substrate. For my substrate, I've used cocoa fiber, orchid bark, and some potting soil. And once you have all that in and all of your hides and decor, this is the finished look. I really, really like it. I mean, I'm probably biased, but yeah, I think it looks awesome. And um, it's a naturalistic look. It's not bioactive, but it does the job. And I really hope she really likes it. And I'm going to enjoy watching her in it. She's one of my most outgoing ball pythons. Like she takes no notice of anything. So I reckon she's going to be all over this place, all over it. And I just want to add that the room she's in is heated already. So the CHE that I'm using is a smaller one because I really just need a hot spot. And here she is. Hi. What do you think your new enclosure? This is all for you. So Toto is a female. <laughs> no, she doesn't like it. She said no. It, this isn't up to my standards. You've, you've done a poor job. What are you doing out here? Your your lovely new vivarium is right behind you. No, you don't want the camera. No. I'll give you a hand. Here you go. Now. Well. Yeah, no, don't like the water bowl. <laughs> yeah, let's look, look, it's a stick. Or a, or a log. I don't know what it is. A branch. I feel like it's a branch. There's your cold hide. So guys, I guess that'll be it for this video. Um, I'm just going to let her explore. And I'll probably sit here for hours just watching her. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll probably put a link in the description of where I got all my materials from. If that's if that's something you'll be interested in. So yeah, that'll be it. Um please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you didn't, obviously give it a thumbs down. <laughs> um please comment something and subscribe and all that jazz. And I shall see you all next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!